Welcome to this edition of My Life, a show put together by Fintech Consultancy, just looking into the lives of those individuals who are impacted by COVID and just getting to see how they cope in the midst of this global pandemic. I have with me today, Mr. Ronil Senevi Ratna. He is the head of IT at Litrogas. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, sir. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Lilanta. Yes. Appreciate it. So now, um, just let's dive straight in. Um, now, COVID hit the world. Uh, the word was going around the world, um, starting in China, of course. And um, I guess people maybe didn't take it as seriously as it was, you know, and it's sort of the way it sort of hit us um, very slowly um, when they made the announcement that they were closing all the schools because that was the most, uh, I think it was the first and most dramatic obvious hmm. sign that something was happening. Um, what went through your mind? Uh, what were your first steps to deal with the situation? Do you remember? Well, I think, uh, well, looking at uh, the developments that were taking place, uh, especially in China, uh, and also later on, I think, uh, in, in Japan, I had heard that uh, they have uh, closed the schools uh, in Japan as well. Uh, right. So it was not so much of a surprise for me uh, mm -hmm. just that, uh, when that's going to happen was uh, the, the the question that i had in mind and then mm -hmm. uh, in march when it happened it was not a surprising thing yeah sure oh well, that's good i remember having conversations with certain individuals in uh, quite significant places of authority uh, positions of authority in the country yeah. and i said you know we need to start making preparations and they actually laughed at me and the following week was when the school shut down and they actually caught up the guys took some people by surprise i'm glad to hear that it didn't take you by surprise so now you had taken the steps to digitize vitro gas before COVID hit. So did you find that that move was appreciated by your company? I think so, right, very much, because uh, now everyone uh, was able to access their emails, uh, their documents, uh, then uh, collaboration, uh, all that was possible because uh, we had taken that step. Actually, uh, it was more, driving on a, on a journey of uh, getting uh, connectivity as well as moving with the trends of uh, the industry that we decided on embarking uh, in this uh, journey. And I think it paid the dividends, especially at this uh, time of uh, the year. Most definitely. I know, you know, that for, for companies that didn't take that step, they found it incredibly hard. So hats off to you for making that decision convincing your superiors that it was a needed move. I'm sure you had a few pats absolutely. on the back. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes. Yeah. And I think in, in a sense, uh, if I were to add something, uh, the beauty of the solution was that uh, we did not have to bother whether our email system was running, whether uh, people are mm -hmm. able to access the file server, because uh, that is something that we can take for granted. And uh, yeah. as IT uh, uh, you know, propagators or people who are running the business, uh, right? They did not have to, uh, to bother about, uh, you know, connectivity because uh, all that was, uh, you know, there and it was for, taken for granted. So that right. is, is a big uh, advantage of a solution like uh, what is offered by Google. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm so glad that your life was made that little bit easier. You can imagine what would have happened if you hadn't had it in place. You would have had yeah. a mad run mm -hmm. trying to get it all organized. When you um, found out that you had to work at home, in your mind, how did you sort of uh, suss out the, the partition between home life and work life? How did you figure out, okay, this is how I'm going to do this? Was it difficult to make that transition to work from home? Yeah, to tell you honestly, even now, I mean, I find it a little difficult to manage the work as well as, uh, you know, home front. Yeah, because uh, if you are in the office, then uh, your boundaries are rather, you know, set. You know, I mean, uh, uh, what you have to do. And then uh, the people are around, uh, if you want to refer to someone from another department, they're, they're more or less around. Right. Right. Working from home, uh, that that transition uh, is not all that easy. 
but mm-hmm. on the other hand i think it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, in a sense we got to change our mindset uh, to adapt for this new way of working uh, and mm-hmm. i think uh, people are also getting accustomed to that and they sometimes uh, uh, appreciate the benefit of not having to travel uh, especially the ones who are coming from little far uh, that mm-hmm. advantage is there yeah so i think uh, uh, as i mentioned even though kind of still adjusting you know but i think eventually uh, we will uh, get over that and uh, get accustomed to this way of uh, uh, working and sometimes uh, perhaps embrace uh, this way of uh, life as well okay Oh, that's that's interesting. That's that's really interesting. I was just going to ask you the question. You know, going forward, um, I mean, they do say, unfortunately, that we are expecting a second wave of um, yeah. COVID or a similar virus. I'm sure you've heard. Um, so, you think this would be quite favourable to carry on business uh, as usual and uh, maintain going forward, working from home? Yeah. You think it's a possibility? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. But I must also add that uh, litro gas being uh, essential services, uh, mm-hmm. uh, except for the first two weeks, thereafter we uh, had to uh, have a plan where maybe about 20% of the staff uh, were available in office because uh, okay. uh, more or less the sales had to make sure that uh, the gas is available mm-hmm. island-wide. Then right. the operations had to make sure the gas cylinders are filled. And then we had some key customers who were very much dependent on uh, the supply of gas. So sure. that we ensured. Uh, because of that, uh, even though we are I mean, operating in a mixed mode, I have to add that it is not completely uh, we are operating from the home. You know, sure. We have been uh, in office uh, uh, and at mm-hmm. home. Uh, it's like yeah. you said. That yeah. That we've had. Sure. Mm. Um, yeah. So... How, how has your family been enjoying having you at home? Have you felt <laughs> relationship has strengthened? And <laughs> I think more so than the family. I think I've been enjoying being at home, having various mm-hmm. kinds of food, things that uh, I never had tried. We've been part of course, so I, at various occasions to try a new yeah. new food uh, to try and uh, maybe a new recipe. Uh, the other day like uh, so that's mm-hmm. that's been very nice and in a sense a uh, little bit uh, m- much much more interaction uh, with my you know daughter and uh, son and the household uh, members so that's been nice mm-hmm. i think yeah yes. i think a lot of folk that i've spoken to uh, and we have spoken to a few now they do uh, mention that uh, uh-huh. the family relationships have taken a whole new level because they didn't have uh-huh. this before yeah. you know it yeah. was a short saturday and sunday but even then kids were running to tuition classes and there was no never really a moment in time where everyone was at yeah. home uh, getting yeah. to know each other so in a, in a odd way covid uh, the covid pandemic has been a blessing to so many while it's been quite heartbreaking for others so yeah, yeah it's funny how there's always a positive and a negative to any situation it's what you make of it isn't it yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, um, let me ask you this now. Uh, over the last two months, um, with all the highs and lows and being an essential service and you being the head of IT, I'm sure the responsibility on you was heavy. Uh, what would you say are the lessons you learned? It could be at home uh, in terms of how to mm-hmm. deal with maybe your daughter at whatever right. age she's at. Um, right. or what, what are lessons that you learned that you, you, you've thought to yourself, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that this happened and next time around I'll know better. Yes. Any moments that... I think, I mean, uh, now one of the key lessons is to have a backup plan. That really is something that uh, struck me because uh, due to Corona or like for that matter, for any uh, other reason, there can be a situation where some of your stuff is not going to be available, right? Yes. So yeah. uh, to have a backup plan so that someone else can step in when one person mm-hmm. is not available, uh, right. that is something I think essential uh, in this uh, in this situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think uh, that's the foremost thing. Uh, and uh, other important thing is uh, to have good teamwork. 
within the IT uh, as well as uh, even encompassing the other departments. Uh, I think uh, that teamwork capability is uh, something that becomes essential in these sort of mm -hmm. situations, right? Uh, I so I think uh, these two are the key key learnings uh, that uh, if I would uh, put on the table, yeah, these two things. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic, actually. It's, it's it's actually a really good point because I know those of us who are stuck outside of the Colombo area, they couldn't yeah. get in. And so you would have to have somebody who knew the role and uh, was confident to be able Not to right. carry it. So that's a Not good right. point. Yeah. 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 So um, now COVID-19 is, uh, 19 is uh, still among us, unfortunately, and the world is yeah. still looking at and multiple deaths worldwide. Um, yeah. In five years from now, let's say 10 years from now, 10 years from now, um, give me one memory that you will tell your grandchildren about this particular season, this particular chapter in history. What will you be recalling and right. telling your grandchildren about? Well, I think uh, the most striking thing is that uh, I've been uh, like doing a nice walk uh, around the vicinity, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, I've taken some some fantastic uh, photos of maybe the trees, maybe the uh, little uh, you know grounds here and there, and sometimes wow. even uh, even a few birds. So something mm -hmm. that uh, I never, you know, it never struck me that uh, we are we are surrounded with so much. Uh, uh, trees mm -hmm. and a little bit of nature in spite of uh, my being inside Colombo, there, there's enough still places where I can see a lot of greenery. So on mm -hmm. an average day, I didn't take much notice of that. Uh, sure. And we walk around, which I've been doing every day in the morning. Uh, sometimes uh, mm -hmm. since I have a cars, I can drive to a certain place and then walk around that area as well. Oh, yeah, okay. so I really enjoyed uh, the, the, the beauty of Colombo and, and the little greenery it is uh, having everywhere. So that's yeah. something I will, I think, really cherish. That's awesome. That's a beautiful memory. Yeah. And we yeah. have a beautiful city. Colombo is spectacular in every way. Spectacular. Yeah. No, I, in fact, I've taken some photos uh, uh, sometimes uh, in, in, in the, you know, in, in, in the park or maybe mm -hmm. sometimes in the port area. It's uh -huh. so beautiful, especially because the the, the sky was uh, blue and uh, the air mm -hmm. was cleaner and it has come out so beautifully. That's so true. You're yeah, so right. I'm doing the same. I've been doing the same and I actually shared with a friend, you know, usually when you walk oh, through yeah. Colombia, you feel like you're, you're breathing in carbon monoxide. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm enjoying the fact that it actually feels like fresh air. Like Very it, much, very much feels, fresh air. Yes, and right. even, the, even the trees, the, the leaves of the tree, they look so uh, such a beautiful green, you know, very yeah. lively green, uh, uh, various uh, verdant colors of the green you can see, uh, which is right. lovely. It's quite dramatic. You're absolutely right. I think the pollution in the air has dropped so significantly yes. that we yes. can actually see through all of it. And yes. yeah, you, you're so and right. So, something interesting that I, I learned is that uh -huh. if you look at the Colombo Municipal Council, the logo, uh, right. if you look, close look at the logo, you can see that it has uh, some coconut trees and a mountain that is uh, in, the, in the middle. And in fact, that mountain is uh, the Adam's Peak, Sri Pada Mountain. So oh, back, in the, yeah, back in the 1800s, mid 1800s, uh, when Colombo Municipality was formed, uh, right. why they selected that logo was that Almost from everywhere in Colombo, you could see Adam's Peak between the coconut trees, right? Between the coconut trees, right? Oh, so that's okay. why they selected that logo for the Colombo Municipal Council. And almost maybe uh, 150, 170 years later, it's kind of coming back. Now we can see Adam's Peak from various parts of Colombo. So that's right. very interesting. Very okay. interesting. You know? It just seems like <laughs> as a whole, the population, everyone I talk to, it seems like they've become more centered and more Correct. Correct. for the simple yes. things in life. That's a yes. common simple thing. Things. Simple things, actually. The fresh mm. air, what we breathe abundantly, the trees, uh, you know, all that, the, the, maybe the 
surrounding seas uh, near Colombo, mm. all that is uh, so fresh mm. and uh, something that we took for granted. Now mm. we are slowly enjoying and uh, appreciating and uh, you know, trying to uh, get a little bit more out of it. In touch, in touch with yes. what really yes. matters. Yes. Amazing. Well, Mr. Seni Bratna, it's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for spending these uh, few moments with us. Congratulations to you for um, literally holding up the weight for Litro Gas to function efficiently, mm -hmm. normally, and to carry out the role that was needed for the entire country. Um, good yeah. job. Congratulations yeah. to you and to your company, to your team. And um, yeah, we'll probably catch up in about six months, maybe and uh, see how the company is uh, doing uh, later on, later on. Thank you so much, right. sir. Thank you. Take Thank care you very now. Much. Thank you very much. And, uh, and my pleasure as well. And of course, I think uh, we uh, were fortunate to work with uh, FinTech and uh, the expertise that they provided us uh, in guiding uh, for the G Suite uh, transition as well as later on is uh, really appreciated. And I think uh, even to this date, uh, we value that uh, relationship. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll convey the message. Thank you for those words. God bless. Join us next time on My Life. Until then, be safe and take care. Okay. You too. Thank you. Bye.